So in every sense, the food and agricultural systems have been disrupted and at each stage as well, so that we find uh, that people's ability to obtain healthy nutrition through wholesome foods is in great danger because of COVID. Food becomes more expensive, food becomes less available, families are making difficult choices, and families are probably eating less meals than they were eating a day. COVID-19 does impact the agricultural sector in general, ability to access inputs, ability to do farming, ability to do stuff gets compromised. So you have a population that has no ability to feed itself, and you have these countries that have very little reserves or no reserves at all. So that, that was, for me, if there was one fear I had going to bed was these countries have no reserves. Clearly, malnutrition is going to be aggravated in these situations where access to both wholesome protein as well as fruit and vegetables or even basic caloric requirements may be threatened. So we will see a great amount of increase in malnutrition. At the same time, we will also see that because unhealthy foods are more available because they are less perishable, their dependence on those unhealthy foods is going to cause a problem in terms of non-communicable diseases as well, and high sugar, high fat foods with unhealthy fats, they aggravate inflammation. So that again is not good in the case of COVID or any other infection. SMEs in the agribusiness sector in Africa handle 64% of the food that is eaten in Africa. Right? And they provide over 90% 90, 90 of the services that, that result in agricultural production. They overcome all the challenges that are, are presented by rural landscapes. They overcome infrastructure challenges. They overcome all sorts of things. They are in those landscapes against all odds. So, so having them close is really a challenge to all of us. You cannot suddenly alter your systems in the face of an emergency. Only when you have rational and equitable systems functioning in the steady state, then can you actually scale them up or protect them in the face of a public health emergency. I think there's, this whole COVID crisis takes us more to the question of food systems and whether the food systems are working for us in the first place. We, we have climate change. Uh, we were already suffering before the COVID crisis happened. We were already suffering from climate change. And we know that agriculture is a contributor, whether we like it or not. How we use our environment is part of the problem. So being able to, to think through how we can, we can work from a food system perspective, not just food. So this is a great opportunity for us to reorient our food and agricultural systems, to protect health, to promote economy, and to ensure the stability of our environment. There's an opportunity now to rethink where we are going, to rethink our, 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 how we build resilience better, for, for, to ensure that we are more inclusive, but also to rethink our, our food systems and whether it is the serving the purpose of feeding people, but also ensuring a safe planet for, 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 for the future.